to another morning stream. I hope you guys are having a great morning so far. We have a very interesting day ahead. We are going to be getting Powell testifying before the Senate at 10 a.m. We are going to be seeing if we can actually get this live. I believe it should be streamed. Uh, so we're going to see if we can find that link for you guys. We're going to be watching Powell in a little bit. But team, this is going to be an interesting day. We did see the seller step up yesterday on the SPY after we started to test that 407.50 area. So that's going to be a level of interest today to see if we can break through there. But again, guys, make sure you guys slap the literal living fuck out of the like button on your way in. It helps out a whole lot getting these streams out to some more people. As usual, we do have a couple of announcements that we do need to bring you guys. So... Let's wait a little bit on that. Good morning, Vixen, everyone. Dr. Bob, how you doing, buddy? H Diamonds, TMR, Borg, Pepe, Logan. What's up, Vito? Uh, not a uh, new day. How you doing? Morning, SV. Hit the like button. Freeloaders, join the community. Thank, thank you. That, that link should be for Val. Oh, thank you, Pepe. Thank you, buddy. All right, so I'll have that one up. All right, folks, let's see what we're going to get here. Keep smacking that like button on the way in. Can we get Collins while streaming Powell? Why would we do Collins while listening to Powell? That kind of defeats the purpose of listening to Powell. <laughs> like how, what we're gonna listen to powell and then we're also just gonna talk to each other that doesn't make any sense um but yeah 407.50 area on the spy up here tessie was looking interesting in the pre-market a little bit here as well i am very interested in baba and coin uh baba looks interesting on the four hour so does coin uh i'm gonna take a keep a lookout on those baba was signaling on the on the what do you call it the red light runner yesterday uh, it didn't, so it closed that traffic light and then invalidated it. So we'll see what happens later. Um, but team, all of you guys that have been wondering, remember you guys on the platform, you guys already have the daily traffic light and the four hour traffic light uh, indicators over here. The alerts, those are absolutely fire. If you guys haven't checked those out yet, I don't know what you're doing. We've seen some pretty ridiculous gains coming from those. Uh, but everybody, or actually, no, the three-year and the lifetime people are going to be getting, uh, which we call it, Speed Racer, which is the one-minute traffic light alerts. It should be this week. So get ready for that, guys. That's going to be awesome. And a little bit of an announcement here for you guys, too. Those of you guys that might have missed it yesterday, oh, 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 look at the QR code that just popped up on the screen. So everybody gets 90% off their first month joining up to the 1348 platform here. So guys, use code PRINTCITY at checkout if it doesn't automatically populate in. But again, we are lowering the barrier to entry for you guys to come into the best trading platform for retail investors to actually come in and make money and not get led to the slaughter like all these other fucking idiots. You're going to get all the alerts, the over 20 curriculum videos so that you guys can learn from zero to 100 with trading. Again, guys, make sure you guys check that out. Um, and team all you guys can see people are already scanning the qr code i mean dude we have thousands of people using this system um and i mean again I i'm the only person on youtube with an interview on their channel of somebody turning eight thousand to a million dollars with their system so um again guys uh oh and for all of you guys that are already existing members remember the three-year tier which currently is the best bang for your buck out of all of all of the tiers that we offer, the price of that is going to be going up at the end of the month from $13.48 to $17.99. As it currently stands, you are effectively getting 36 months for the cost of 19. You pay it up front, but if you were to amortize it, you're effectively paying $37 a month. Again, there were idiots that were like, well, can I pay $37? No. Um, but uh, you also get the master classes, the Gabe private streams that he's going to start doing at Market Open, uh, the streams that I'm going to be doing at night, the beta access to all the new products that we're releasing to you guys in the future. And we have a lot more coming to those upper upper tiers as well. So if you guys are interested uh, in upgrading, make sure you guys reach out to Diana before the end of the day. But how is everybody doing? Been watching a few times. First time saying hello. Love from South Africa. Oh, that's very cool. That is very true. Good morning, sir. Let's make some money today. Let's do it, Aaron. Let's do it. We are five likes away from 50. I appreciate you guys. So yeah, guys, those are all the announcements over there. Uh, make sure you guys check out that QR code that has popped up on the screen. If you do want to get that special special limited time offer of 90% off your first month to the platform um, and reach out to Diana if you do want to upgrade to the three-year or the lifetime payment plan. So Looking at the market today, I mean, we are going to have Powell speaking at 10. You could see a little bit more volatility today just based off of that, depending on what he says. Personally, I don't think he's going to say anything too wild, uh, but you never know. I mean, Bostic came out with saying some crazy stuff, um, pumped the market for two or three days. I mean, we'll see what happens today at 10. So that's when Powell's going to be speaking. He's going to be speaking at 10. 
But let's see here. Uh, just tell the teacher I do what I want. Uh, not going to be able to listen to the Powell because of class, so I'll be in for a surprise. Yeah, Tyler, you do have to go to class. Everybody has to go to class, especially in high school. You have to go to class in high school. College, a little bit different, but you still should go to class. I'm different. I'm not normal. I can not go to class and be perfectly fine. Let's see. Good morning, gang. Daily Taylor, how you doing, buddy? All right, let's. Why is this spy on the three minute? What the? When the fuck did I do that? Hold on, is everything else on the right time frame? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, coin looks interesting too. I mean, I was looking at this. Uh, I mean, you do have this four hour traffic light here. It's looking like it wants to traffic light back to the downside, but it's gonna open up. I don't know. I mean, looking at this on the daily too, it should have already traffic lighted, but. Like boy back here. Yeah, so you got this traffic light here. You got a traffic light down, traffic light back up. So we'll see. I mean, coin can get a little spicy. Bitcoin has sold off a decent amount. If you see another like crypto rally coming back to the upside, you can see coin and all those other names start to rip back up. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm more interested in Baba right here. If you look at Baba on the full, I think it's on the daily. I mean, it's, it's on the four hour too, but you can see this little choppy consolidation zone between like 89 and 95. Where it chops around, it rips. Uh, let me go back a little bit more. This is like a very, 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 very key level. Chops around, rips. Chops around, rips. Chops around, rips. Chops around, rips. Like this level on Baba is important. There's been a lot of buyers here for a while. Um, RSI's cooked on the daily. Four hour was looking for that traffic light back to the upside here. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with Mr. Alibaba. Holy shit. Gabe, what have you done? Gabe, thank you for the super, buddy. I did a thing. Lol, it's filthy. Figured I'd pay it now. What did you do? What did you do? Oh, did you go back to your old ways of pre-market trading? Oh, what did you do? Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. All right, man. I want to know what you did. Can you text me what you did? I would like to know. Thank you for that super, though, buddy. I appreciate that. Um, but again, guys, you see the code right here at 90% off your first month of the Trade 1348 platform. That's not going to be around forever. So make sure you guys secure that before we randomly pull it away. Uh, and yeah, all you guys that want to hop in on the three-year, uh, make sure you guys reach out to Diana before the end of the day uh, because prices are going up at the end of this month from 1348 to 1799. Not yet. Wait, okay. Uh, you have two put contracts on Neo that you hold overnight. You see Neo hitting 879. Okay. Well, what was your thesis on getting in on Neo here? I don't know. Let's see. I mean, I'm going to go out with this on the four hour. Uh, this is not going to be good. You, no, mm, mm. when did you buy these? All right. You just, I don't know what you're doing here, but this is, I don't know when you bought these. If you bought these way back here when it was at like, I don't know, 11, then you're killing it. But I don't know what, I mean, unless you're playing the rejection off the 13 on the daily, which I probably wouldn't do, but, or the rejection off the 48 on the four hour. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's going to get a traffic light back down to the downside here. I don't know what you're doing there, buddy. I don't know what you're doing there. Guys, the name of the game, and this is something I, I feel like is going to help out a lot of you guys too. The name of the game is going to be discipline. So if you need to, and some of you guys may need to, before you enter the trade, write down your plan. Say, if we see price do this, I'm out. Or if we see price do this, I'm taking profits. Make sure that you're following your plan before you enter the trade because your plan is only as good as your execution. If you say, okay, I'm going to buy calls. And if it closes down below the 200 EMA, well, then I'm going to get out. But then it does close down below the 200 EMA and nice to like, and then come on, follow your damn plan team. Don't be doing anything stupid over here. Oh, TENX will run past one. Well, that seems like a penny stock. So you get timed out. That's how that goes. No penny stock bullshit on this channel, bro. Unless uh, we're talking shit about it. So hate penny stocks. Penny stocks are nonsense, bro. That's going to be your one warning. Little timeout. You can come back, be a productive member of the live chat, or you can just get banned. It's a dictatorship over here. Follow your plan. Let you follow your morning routine. Brush your teeth. Yep. All the usual suspects in here. Good morning, James. What's up, buddy? Yeah. I just saw a message too, that I think Speed Racer is like really almost ready to go. 
So again, if you guys do want to make sure that you're getting in uh, for the for basically the the first access to Speed Racer, that's one of the benefits of being a three year member. Uh, just reach out to Diana before the end of the day, and then she will help you upgrade, and you'll be able to get those one minute alerts before everybody else. Well, let's see here, guys. Keep smacking that like button on the way in. Let's get after it today, dude. Let's get after it today. Let's make some fucking money. That's what we're here to do, huh? Did Glory have a morning taco soft shell? She might have. She might have. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. All right. Yeah, so we have Powell coming on in an hour and five minutes. That's going to be fun. Let's see. It is a dictatorship. You guys say dumb shit. I'm going to crack the whip. Let's see. Ripped 100% off lows over the past two days. Oh, let's take a look at this. Dude, I used to trade some. What the? Hold on. That's not what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. I mean, you saw it on the four hour was filthy on it. You got this little move here. Was that yesterday though? I mean, play the RSI break, bounce it back up. Dude, I used to trade Home Depot and Lowe's so much. Home Depot is fun to trade. Where is HD right now? Oh, that's 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 I like this. <laughs> How's it look on the daily? What's their earnings? Uh dividends coming out when? Wednesday, March 8th. Uh, that four hour looks sexy. You hate lows? Oh, they reverse splitted VXX? Oh, God. Yeah, that VXX is broken. I don't go anywhere near those volatility indexes. You're effectively trading the integral, which is like the derivative of a derivative, which is weird. You don't want to be doing that. Coin. Let's see where this thing is. Ooh, that slipped a little bit. Alibaba fucking around. Let's see. That sounds like a threesome. Yeah, I should have said whipped cream. Taco with sour cream. What the? Lori, I thought you didn't do that. <laughs> Where's the sour cream coming from, Lori? Would you Uber Eats it or something? What the fuck? Where's this coming from? Lori's over here Uber eating some fucking sour cream for her tacos. Oh my God. Jesus. Tech taking a hit today? I don't know. Where's QQQ? QQQ is fine. It's up 0.21. Fine for now. Reload. There we go. That doesn't freak me the fuck out anymore. All right. Uh, let's get coin over here. Uh, how much time we got until Powell? I mean, we have 32 minutes until open, hour and two minutes until Powell. The secret is to find the tacos bell. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. It's too early for your shit. Meta? Yeah, Facebook. I've been thinking about this, too. Facebook could get really interesting on tomorrow. Yeah, this is TikTok. Oh, Facebook's ripping like this. I like this. How has Facebook looked off these lows? Oh, yeah, dude. Facebook. Oh, come on. I need more out of you. We need more out of you. Get your ass back up, buddy. Yeah, so tomorrow it looks like one of the one of the branches of the government is going to be hearing or voting on a TikTok ban bill. So so that could get re if they go forward with something. I mean, that's gonna blast Facebook up like aggressively. So watch out for that. I mean, you got this nice traffic light here, right around one seventy three. All tree on the four hour. I looked at that one yesterday too. 
I think I remember what I was looking at on this one. I think it was, yeah, it was just cooked. Like this is, yeah. The reason I didn't like Altria was it was just a little too extended. I want to see a retrace back to this 13 and then confirm on the five minute and then get an entry there. Well, where's where this looking at on the daily? It's probably looking all right on the daily here. Yeah, daily just bounced right off the level. You have a traffic light down. You're about to get one to the upside. I don't hate that on the daily. I mean, the problem is you really only have upside to this 48. That's not a lot. I think for daily swings, you want to try to get the like the biggest risk to reward possible, like lowest risk, highest reward. So like, yeah, it could blast through here, but what would be the reason for it besides like a technical move right back up? I don't know. Baba looks very interesting. Like you look at this thing on the four hour. This has a lot of wiggle room. The risk is basically slipping 84. If it runs. So you have 84 to what? 120. So $6 of risk, $5 of risk to, for like 30 of gain. Potentially, maybe. Just looking at targets there. Spy slipping a little bit here. Tongue wars. Oh my God, guys. This is why we can't have nice things. Cause you guys just start here coming in here talking about sex at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys. Keep smacking that like button on the way in. Uh oh, I'll bring this QR code back up for you guys here too. Make sure you guys are hopping in there. 90% off your first month to the trade 1348 platform. We did a little bit of a recap. Uh, of what you guys get over here invictus the predictive algorithm on the five uh the three minute crosses the predictive daily crosses where we use some very complex mathematics to predict when these daily crosses are going to happen before they do uh you have the broken traffic light indicator which is the traffic light uh alerts on the daily you get the red light runner which is the four hour traffic light alerts four hour crosses daily crosses trader joe which is up about nine percent not bad trader joe's doing pretty good still in the green pythagoras still uh, we're still testing those tweaks that I have made to Pythagoras. So that's going to be coming back here soon. You get the compounding calculator over here where you can type in uh, your starting amount, your percent earned per day or whatever your goal per day is going to be, your financial freedom number. And it tells you how many days it's going to take you to get there. And boom, you can download a little Excel spreadsheet. Uh, and then these are all the learning library videos. You can see here, there's a fuckload of them. That's just one of the little uh, drop downs here. That's just the normal strategy. We have all about the bots. We got four more videos here for you guys. And then all about options trading in here. So we have a fully built out curriculum. And then for those of you guys that do want to upgrade to three year or lifetime payment plan, this is going to be where you find all of the masterclass replays. Why the fuck don't I have access to this? I'm the one doing the masterclasses and I can't see them. Nonsense. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But there you guys go. There's the link to the 90% off. Just use code Print City at checkout and you guys are going to be good to go. I need an assistant under the desk checking LinkedIn now. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure that the hookers put their put their work experience on LinkedIn. <laughs> nice. The spies slipping a little bit here. Yeah, there you guys go. And then remember, reach out to Diana. Anything about Uber? I'll take a look. Must demonstrate ability to take large measurements. Yes. Uh, total body regeneration. Uh, what do I think about Uber? Uh, I need something more specific. And then uh, what comes with $69 a month? All of what I just showed you. Um, and then you get all of those, uh, the live streams, the Monday night live streams. You get all of the alerts, community access, real-time unusual options activity, and then everything that we literally just went over. <laughs> I have to pay. I'm the one doing them. Uh, Apple has a yellow traffic light to the upside of the daily, but from what it looks like, you possibly come back down to 149 at the 13 EMA. That's a very, very smart thing to realize there. Uh, let's take a look. I think I looked at that too. Yeah. Uh, I would at least try and get a retest at 151. That's what I would look for, 151. You're right at resistance, too, that you just rejected off of 156.28. Uh, you just rejected this. So... I would net so here's here's how I would look at these oh yeah, it's a it's big resistance up here. So what I would really do with these is I would wait for the retracement, then I would confirm on the five and buy my contracts. Like um if I'm on the daily, I'm buying at least two months out. Um, and I'll play it off of the five minute. Maybe I size up a little bit more just on that day. 
uh, so that if that five minute trade ends up working, I can just scale out of some of the position, realize some gains, and then let the trade go and have a little bit more of a buffer. That's kind of how I look at the swings. The R size is a little cooked here. Uh, MACD's coming back to life there, though. Let's see what happens with this thing. I mean, I was looking at this one, too. There's a couple of other things that I like, though. Like, if the market's going to rip, yeah, this is going to go. But there are other things like this that would get a bigger move off of the market ripping back up. Tessie heavy? Mm, Tessie. Oh, I already have Tessie up here. Hold on. Well, Tessie was weighing the market down a little bit. I'm also interested in coin. I just want to see how coin goes. Oh, uh, yeah. Tessie's kind of weighing down the spy here. Let's see. All right, guys. 30 likes away from 100. Thank you, guys. Who is going to be lucky number 100 this morning? For those not in the community, this is the only community that's beginner friendly. You can be profitable right away if you follow the rules. Ryan the Lion, I appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, man. I mean, the new people. I want to shout out David Moon again, dude. He's up 200-something percent, I believe, in his first, like, three weeks of being with us. It's crazy, man. If you guys aren't in there with us yet, you're doing yourself a wild disservice. And right now, with your first month, it costs less than fucking Chipotle. So there's that code right here. Make sure you guys are hopping in. If not, I mean, you guys are just going to continuously get left behind where we're sitting over here in Prince City. That's okay. We're fine with leaving people behind. Uh, lift on the four hour. Okay. So this is, so here's sort of what we're going to be doing for a lot of you guys um, that are in three year and uh, life. Wow. What the, f that are in three year and uh, lifetime. Yeah, it is sitting at support. Um, this is some of the things that we're going to start doing probably once or twice a week at night going over uh, broken traffic light and uh, the four hour ones. So we're going to do a little bit of like market analysis, probably one or two nights a week uh, for all of you guys in lifetime and three year. And then we're going to go over a bunch of the daily and four hour traffic light alerts and seeing where where the entries could be and where things could potentially go. Chipotle gives you the shits. We give you the tools to be the shit. Yup. Had Chipotle last night, 20 bucks. What the fuck are you ordering at Chipotle that costs you $20? What are you getting? Double steak, queso, and guac? God damn, bro. You're saucing it up over there. Yeah, I would wait for a traffic light on Lyft. Let's see. Tessie. Double meat guac after lifting heavy at the gym. Yes, you got steak, definitely. Because when I get double chicken guac, it's like $14 or something. Not fucking 20 Jeez, guys. All right. Actually, I want this on the one. I want coin. I want to watch coin today. I'm interested in this. I'm kind of hunting something on it. I just kind of want to see where it wants to go. Does the coupon work for the $69 a month? Uh, well, here's the thing, Gilmart. When you use the coupon code, you're going into the $69 a month tier, but your first month is $5. It's over 90% off your first month. So you just use that coupon code and you, you're able to get your first month uh, heavily discounted. But that's only for people that are coming in for the first time. So there you guys go. The QR code is on the screen. Make sure you guys get that. They Uber eat it and pay a premium. Don't see value in the traffic light. Damn, dude, I know. Beautiful signing up now. Gilmar, I want everybody to give a nice warm welcome to Gilmar. He, or, uh, I hope I'm not fucking your name up. I'm pretty sure it's Gilmar. But everybody, give him a nice warm welcome. He's joining the community, finally making that choice. Stop being led to the slaughter by all these other morons out there, man. I mean, it happens constantly. I see it all of the time. Uh, and I might start making some videos about this because I see people chasing these stocks and it makes my fucking stomach hurt. So I'm going to come in, be the bad guy, and then be right a lot. And then people are going to be like, oh, maybe I should stop being a fucking idiot in the market. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Gilmar, awesome, buddy. Welcome to the community, man. Make sure you start off the first, first week or two, paper traded. Make sure you watch all of those curriculum videos. Everything that you've ever wanted out of the market has been right in front of you the whole time. The masterclass this past Sunday taught me the correlation of all three traffic lights, and yesterday made 5% on the port. Lori, monster, 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 monster. Run up the likes. It takes two seconds. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, guys, we got a lot of slackers in here. We got like 260 of you guys in here right now and only 82 likes. The fuck is up with that 
The ankle threshold's at 500. You guys aren't getting there today. You guys aren't getting there today. Let's see. You liked the video four times already? Oh, well, thanks. Will clean tacos. Jesus, Gabe. <laughs> I love money as much as tacos. I think I love money more than tacos, but I do fucking love tacos. We need idiots for exit liquidity. We can't save them all, but the, for those who listen, uh, but all those that listen will be safe by their own actions. Yep, exactly, man. Exactly. Shout out to the cougars out there. Love y'all. Oh, Gabe, I forgot to tell you this. I found out where all the cougars are. I found them. I forgot to tell you this. I found where all the cougars hang out. Remember how I was like, dude, I don't see them ever. I found the cougar nest. I know where they go now. Uh, where I was on Saturday, they were everywhere. And I was like, whoa, this is where you guys all hang out. Tiger, what's up with Tiger? Uh, tiger bouncing off support here too. Come on. There you go. If this gets a traffic light back up, I wouldn't hate that. I woo. That's interesting. I would not hate that. Where? It's a different. It's a different club. Everybody always tells me that I should go there, and I just kind of like I like basically texted my people, and I was like, I don't want to wait in line. And they were like, Okay, cool. Just like walk up and tell them. And I was like, All right, cool. They were like, Yeah, you're on the list. So I was like, Cool. So then I walk up with like a bunch of my friends and then we just like walk in there and we go because it's like down. It's like under it's underground. So anybody that knows what I'm talking about, that's been in Boston. It's underground. That's your hint. Um, And I walk in there and all I see is just groups of like 40 year olds. And I was like. Whoa. <laughs> I was like, this is an interesting change of pace. The cheers now. Cougars live in a den, not a nest. Nah, they live in a nest. <laughs> Go to high value places or exclusive places. Yeah. I yeah. But like this one, this is the one place that I was thinking. I was like, I would never do what I usually do at this place. I would only do it at the play, like the playground or like one or two other places. When I walked in there, I was like, yeah, I probably wouldn't do it here. But like, it'd be cool to just like go there sometimes. But I was like, I guess this is where all the cougars hang out, which it would be hilarious to do what I usually do and then invite all the cougars up. <laughs> but I did find them. I was like, holy shit, this is where they go. Ti mm, tiger looks interesting bro all right we got to keep a lookout for tiger coin tiger and coin and baba actually let's do this just get coin over here and then we can have a bunch of charts up today fine with me fine with me Let's say Bing. Jason, there is no glitch. If you're trying to circumvent the system, just going to time you out and probably ban you, honestly, because we don't play that game. Cougars at the playground. Like number 100? Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Let's see.
Tiger and Baba just stepped in? I don't know. They look decent. They look decent. Let's say do, 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 do. Let's see. Good morning, SB. Good morning, Rose. How you doing? Let's see. Tessie. All right, we got 15 minutes until open. All right, guys, keep smacking that like button on the way in. Let's get after it today. We're going to get Powell live in, let's see, 45 minutes. We get Powell. Let's see. Just signed up. Can't wait to uh, to buy double steak with my new knowledge. Let's do it, Gilmar. Let's do it, buddy. Oh, dude. Again, I mean, you're signing up in the morning. Make sure you take the time, paper trade, watch all those videos. Oh, I don't even have NVIDIA up here. Fuck, now I need another one. Hold on. So many stocks that I'm looking at today. Now I need Nancy over here. Nancy! Nancy's just fucking around. Uh, today's Powell's at the Senate, yeah. Today Powell's at the Senate. So I have the link to that ready to go. Um, that We're going to listen to that. It's going to be at 10 a.m., so we'll probably get a half hour of that in before we dip. But that'll be fun. Let's see. Yeah, so what we're going to be doing, Gabe's going to be doing those uh, those Lifetimer and three-year live streams coming up soon uh, for Market Open for you guys. I'm going to be doing some night streams with you guys to go over uh, some of the swings for you 9 to fiver. So we're going to be going over uh, Broken Traffic Light, uh, 4 Hour, any news that's coming out, and then overall just trading tips probably once or twice a week at night. Uh, and then guys all, uh, with the three year as well, you also get live master classes. You get beta access to all the new products. It's the best bang for your buck deal. If you think about it and you think about what you pay upfront divided over 36 months, your monthly fee then amortized would be $37 a month. It's not a payment plan for you. Dumb dumb. It's not a payment plan. I'm just getting a bunch of questions about that. It's not a payment plan, but if you guys sign, if you guys want to get access to that, the best bang for your buck tier, make sure you guys reach out to Diana before the end of the day, because speed racer is coming very, very, very soon. And you guys will get access to that two weeks before everybody else in the hospital waiting room. Oh, I hope everything's okay. Jack said, uh, no headphone listening to the VIX out loud. <laughs> oh God. There's a correctional officer here with a dude in a jumpsuit, handcuffs, and ankle cuffs waiting at the appointment. What the hell? Uh, that doesn't seem right, but tell the officers I say hi um, and that they should join 1348 so that they can, like, you know, stop doing that and they can do whatever they want. So. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, well, they heard. They should hear. All right. Let's see, what we're getting team. Yeah, dude, send them your affiliate link. That would be awesome. Back when Diana Roma did those two first uh, two or three swing videos, those were helpful. Yeah, I got you guys on this. So that's what we're going to be doing uh, once or twice a week at night. Uh, so get ready for that, guys. That's going to be another added benefit to three-year and all you lifetimers. We're just continually adding value to you guys that have shown uh, that you want to stick around for a very long period of time. So thank you, guys. We appreciate you. Those of you guys that do want to hop in there to those upgraded tiers that are actually a better bang for your buck, um, just reach out to Diana before the end of the day, and she will help you upgrade. Uh, Mr. Brosip, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. When Powell, uh, 10. Powell's going to be coming out at 10. Dude, I have so many tickers up today. <laughs> ah, I like it. But I like Baba targeting coin. I want to see what happens with those. 
Uh, just new products and stuff. Just new products. Your brother joined the penny stock group. He's making money. I told him just to keep a stop at profit. Oh no, that's that's led to Slaughter City, buddy. Does, since cops are listening, does this mean no talking about crack? No. No, I'll tell them all about the time that I was an accidental international drug smuggler. That's fine. I mean, what are they going to do? I don't have any drugs. <laughs> like, I don't have crack. Oh, uh, what the... F what the fuck just... God fucking damn it. What did I do? Jesus. I don't know what I did there, but I just deleted that by accident. That's <sighs> assholes. Make me do more work in the morning. I broke it. Statue of limitations over. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. But I'm pretty sure my one bag of never mind. This is gonna sound really bad if they were listening, but it's trust me, it's not bad. <laughs> Double click the screen. Oh, I maximized the screen. No, nah, it's fine. I fixed it. I, I fixed it. It's okay, guys. I, I fixed it. No, nah, I don't have to maximize shit. I fixed it. Bob the Builder over here. You broke our charts, put it back. I don't change your charts. I can't change your charts. Third time watching last week's masterclass, Golden. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Remember, guys, make sure you guys are getting in there, watching those masterclasses. Just reach out to Diana, and you upgrade to the three-year, and you can get live masterclasses. But the delayed masterclasses also come with the lifetime payment plan, so you guys can reach out and upgrade with her as well to that one. But let's do it today, team. Let's get after it. And again, everybody gets 90% off their first month. So make sure you guys check that out over here. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Yes, I can. I just redo it and then we're all chilling. All right, guys, we got eight minutes until market open. Four-year surgery follow-up, all good. Oh, there you go. There you go. They do fo surgeries, follow-ups, four years later? If they got to check on you four years later, I'd be a little bit worried about that. I'd get it done the first time. Uh, is overbought or oversold signal to cash out? Mm, for me, when I'm day trading, I move my stops way higher when I'm using it. Not necessarily a full cash out, but I'll move my stops and profit way higher. Uh, SV, could you let Diana know that I DM'd her about upgrading to three years? See a lot of value in what you guys are doing, and I think it's a hell of a deal. Antman, yes. Is your name in the Discord, Antman? It is Antman. At Antman, hold on, I'll do this really quick. I'll just do this. Uh, boom. That should be good. I just threw it in Market Talk real quick just so she can see it. You had a tumor removed from your skull? Okay, that's fair then. They can check up on you as many times as they want. Never mind. I was thinking about like, oh, you had to like get a broken bone fixed. That uh, that makes a lot of sense, Jack Stash. I hope you're doing good now, buddy, or whoever is there is, is doing better. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> if you're gay rich and got a vasectomy it would be cheaper to get that confirmed yearly yeah true <laughs> true <laughs> all right six minutes to go let's see bob a little slippage
You guys ready for Print City? I'm ready for Print City. Let's see. Does Powell speak at 10? Yes, Powell does speak at 10. Morning. Good morning, Moonbound. How you doing, buddy? Let's see. NVIDIA death candle on the one minute. Oh, that could just be a fake candle though like this. We'll see. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. All right, let's see. What's up with the likes? I don't know, man. Keep hitting that like button on the way in, team. Let's see what we're going to get today. All right, guys. Again, everybody gets 90% off their first month. You guys see the QR code on the screen for those of you guys that are technologically impaired. The link is also in the live chat, but I will throw it in here for you guys, too. Just use code Print City. The girls are ready for the day. Let's get it. Let's do it. I'll go. That's going to be fun. Oh, I am pumped with the Ritas. There goes the Baba. Down. Oh, Baba Death. Let's see what happens with this thing. I mean, this thing flashes around all over the place. So we'll see what happens with it. Someone needs a remix. All right, let's see into Rocky theme music. Yeah. Let's say. Fake, yeah. Well, Facebook looks interesting because of tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be very interesting with Facebook. Oh, we got a minute to go until open here, too. This is going to get spicy. And right back up on Baba. Why do I have the Bob the Builder song stuck in my head now? Fuck you guys. <laughs> I need a different song stuck in my head. What's tomorrow with Facebook? 
Uh, it's some TikTok hearing in Congress. All right, ding, ding, ding. Market's open. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, the tiger started coming up there. Hello. Coin. Where's Tessie? Okay. Nancy doing what Nancy does. Spy fucking around. Baba screwing around. Let's see. All right, guys. We have 30 minutes until Powell. Get ready. All right, hold on. Let me grab Twitter really quick. Whoa, what the? Hold on. Spy, a little slippage here. Hold on. Let's see. Knife on HD. Yeah, where's Tiger? Tiger just got murdered. Baba knife. Spy knife in here. Let's see. Just resubscribed again, so I couldn't get it. Uh, you couldn't wait. You're back. Luke, there we go, buddy. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what happened there, but I think it had to do with your payment getting declined. That's usually what happens. What's Powell speaking about? I'm not entirely sure, but he's testifying before the Senate. So that's going to get interesting. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nancy, 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 Nancy. What the fuck are you doing here? Hello. Hold on, Nancy. What are you doing here, pal? Is it raining? No, it's the air conditioner. Keep the camera cool. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, Nancy, you motherfucker. Damn it. I missed that by like two cents. That's that's disappointing. Yeah, asshole. Spy trying to move back up. Are you serious? It's because <laughs> officially a three-year member ready to binge all the master classes. Let's do it, Ant-Man. Yeah, fucking, I wanted that Nancy move disappointing all right what are we gonna get here you're better off humming the rocky theme song dude i know i know why are the tesla premiums It's kind of weird. Spy trying here. Can we fix it? I'm thinking we can. Let's see what we got.
Mm -hmm. Spy Shark, Tessie fucking around. Nancy trying to hold. Spy trying to come back up. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. There goes Spy a little bit. Uh, daily or four hour. It's one or the other. Spy truck. Oh, nice. That was sexy there. Where's Baba? <laughs> yeah, flip Tessie quick. I don't have a stop on it yet, though. Just kind of letting it go. Your internet slow won't lose trade. Uh, hold on. I need more. I need this break to 200. I need not a fucking crazy Tesla wake, too. Uh, Spy starting to move up here a little bit with this traffic. Let's see if it confirms. Great morning, Vix. LFG? Yes, it is. I'm just looking for a big Tessie candle. That'd be fun. Here we go. There we go. Uh, what's a reasonable dollar move expected for swinging? Oh, uh, Eli, you got to go back and watch that swing trading video, dude. Uh, it's the most recent video on my channel. That'll help you out a whole lot. That got sold into. That's interesting. Let's see here. All right, guys. Keep smacking that like button on the way in. We are about to be getting pow. Whoa, Baba fucking around a lot here. Jesus. Tiger, interesting coin. There goes coin. If Spy can break this, where's the, this on the five minute? Okay. NVIDIA? Oh, fuck, dude. I wanted that one, too. I was trying to get it here, and I just... Okay, whatever the fuck that is needs to stop. <laughs> whatever is going on there needs to chill the fuck out. Okay. When does Powell talk? 10. So we're getting Powell at 10. Let's see what we got here. There goes Tessie. Come on. Well, come on, you dick. Spy shark off the 48. Let's see. 
Is the NVOS a trap? If you have to ask, the answer is probably yes, but let's take a look. Penny sock. Get, no. Why are we talking about penny socks? Hold on. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'll leave this here now. It would be tight if Powell triggers a major sell-off. Uh, yeah, it would be very interesting if he did. Ooh, that's not what I want to do. Tessie slip in. Yeah. Let's see. So I'm in and out of Tesla quick there. Am I looking for Tesla? Bits? No, I just played the traffic like quick. Just here up. Just basically rid it up to here. Now it's slipping a little bit. That was just a quick scalp. Let's see. Nah, he'll say totally bearish stuff and we'll rip. That would be hilarious, bro. Yeah, now we're 20 minutes before Powell. I'll probably just kind of back off it. I, I On Tesla, I was looking for the break of the 1 minute 200. It just didn't want to do it. I mean, it was cooked. It came back up. Like, this is just a nice little scalp there. <laughs> Spy slippage. <laughs> Let's see. It happened last year? Oh, interesting. Uh, let's see what the spy wants to do here. You have this low at 40410. You got a traffic light down. Let's see what it wants to do. <sighs> yes, we can. All right. That's got that song's got to get out of my head, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> copyright strike, they might get me on that one. Spy flashing. How is this not selling? How? Interesting. Okay, let's see. Usually it pumps into these events, but I think we already have. I mean, yeah, we have already pumped. Huh, here's what we're going to do. The Tesla on the one minute down. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't hate that. Let's see. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, slippage. Let's see if it breaks this 404.10. Doesn't want to right now. Ah, oh, you fuckers. Hold on. When you get into trades, you set a strike price. No, 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 no. You don't set strike prices. You're buying strike prices. Uh, Terrazzo, you, of all people, definitely need to hop in for your, uh, what do you call it, your 90% off your first month. That's going to help you out a whole lot. We have a whole options trading curriculum uh, that breaks it down completely for you. Let's say, oops. Spy back up. Let's see. Where's my coffee? I got two of them right here, pal. Don't you worry about me. I got two coffees ready to go. Let's see what this wants to do. Huh. Let's see. I'd love to see this break 404. I just don't know if they're going to do it before Powell. You're not touching anything until after Powell. That's probably smart. I mean, there's money to be made in this chop, but we'll see what happens with it. Nancy Rimmon. Let's see. All right, guys. Keep smacking that like button on the way in. Man, the risk here is so tight, bro. I love these traffic lights. It makes the wrist so tight. Let's say. But I love her. Powell is your binary event every time. Yeah, it happens that way. Yeah, we got 12 minutes to go until Jay Powell is going to start speaking. So we'll see what he wants to do. We will see. Oh, you guys are murdering the like button this morning, too. Thank you, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Spy still hasn't traffic lighted back up here. Let's see. Will you stream J-Pal speaking? Yes. Yes, I will. Let's see. Oh, wait. I think I have a... I don't know. God damn it. I keep singing the fucking Bob the Builder song. This is no, I can't be doing that today. I cannot be singing Bob the Builder, bro. That can't be how this day goes. Stop that. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Up. 5.26 on the port. Nikki, Ricky, you monster there, bro. Congratulations. No singing today? All right, yeah, I got to stop. You're right. You're completely right on that one.
Let's say. You're just excited for Tool Man? I am. I'm very excited for Powell. I'm very excited for Powell. I want to see what he brings us today. This is just choppy nonsense. I agree with you, Algo. I agree with you here, buddy. I mean, we got 10 minutes to go before Jay Powell. Let's just see what he wants to do. Oops. Great hikes. <laughs> Did a quick scalp on TQQQ from T uh, there you go, Gilmar. There you go, buddy. Let's say. You don't see how he would be dovish? Ah, oh, dude, you never know what's going to happen with Powell. <laughs> like, Powell's like the, what do you call it? Powell's like Santa. You never know what you're going to get with Powell. Where's the... Okay. Masterclass wins again. There you go, Anthony. There you go, buddy. I want to see how the ladies handle Powell. Me too. Me too. I'm very interested for that. <laughs> Do you know what you get from Santa? What do you get from Santa? Where's the three minute? It's trying to hang on here, but it's not doing very well. Let's see. Do non-live tamers get to the lead masterclass videos? Uh, no. No. So if you guys do want to upgrade, the three-year gets them and the lifetime payment plan gets them as well. The color of his tie? No. Do I know what CPI expectations are? Nope. I do not. Mom, I'm bored. Dude, I know. I just want Powell to do something. <laughs> Baba tried to come back a little bit there. Spy is just flat. Like, it's literally flat. 40450. What time is Powell? Well, we're get he's testifying before the Senate at 10. That's what we're looking for here. You hope Powell has his underwear on top of his pants? I don't think that's going to happen, but you can always hope, you know? <laughs> All right, guys, keep smacking that like button on the way in. And remember, everybody gets their first month of the Trade 1348 platform for 90% off. The QR code is on the screen. If you guys do want to upgrade, to the three-year plan, which is the price is going up at the end of this month. Make sure you guys reach out to Diana before the end of the day here. Uh, because again, I mean, Speed Racer is coming out very, very soon for you guys. So you guys definitely do not want to be missing that. You're going to be getting the special streams coming in the morning, my live streams at night that I'm going to be giving you guys. Uh, I mean, again, it's the best bang for your buck deal too. So make sure you guys check that out if you guys are 
interested. But again, everybody gets 90% off their first month. You pay five bucks, you come in to use the platform for a month. I don't know what you guys are doing that aren't in there yet. Losing money probably would be my guess. Should get nice algo wicks on the hour, set your stops. Yeah. We could. It's trying to march here a little bit. We got five minutes until Powell. You got resistance here at 404.59, 404.57. Let's see what it does. All right. Check back for the live video. Ooh, watch live video. Hold on. Coverage begins at 10. Let's see. The semi-annual monetary policy report to Congress. Interesting. Ooh, spy slippage. Nothing really happened in here, man. So. <laughs> Fuck. I keep singing the damn song. All right, guys. Keep smacking that like button. We're almost at 250. Thank you, team. I appreciate that. A nothing burger event with Powell, but his lack of activity of the chart says otherwise. Dude, I know. It's like it's like eerie waiting for Powell to come on. You got three minutes. Where's coin? Oh, coin shark fin and a half here. Uh, I use uh, restream. Kiffers. Why is that song in your head? Because I had to fix the charts earlier. Uh, we got to get a new song stuck in the head. This is how SCV punishes us for penny stocks. Yeah, that should be the punishment. I just sing the most annoying song of all time. Tessie new low. Oh, nice traffic light here on Tessie. Two separate committees. Yeah, he's, he is going to be talking for a while today. Let's see. Yeah, we got two minutes to go. Moving up a little bit. <laughs> All right, here we go. One minute until Papa Powell comes on. I have the I have the link up here, so we're just waiting for it to see what comes in. Let's see. What do we got? Ten seconds left. Here we go. Here we go. She's flickering. Oh, look at this move. Oh, shit. Look at this move. Holy fuck. 
Look at this. They just blew it through 404. Holy shit. Look at that, dude. Oh, here we go. Watch live video. Let's see. Oh, Fed Chair Powell is prepared to speed up rate rises if warranted by data. Oh, no, this is murder here. Oh, yeah, this is death candles here, dude. Oh, my God. I don't see anything on this live stream, though. They oh, my God. Look at these candles. <laughs> There's the algo candle. Yeah, that's a big boy candle there. I mean, if you were in on this traffic light, boom. Jesus, that was big. All right, hold on. Let me send this tweet out here. This is nasty, bro. <laughs> Look at that. You were in puts? Nice. Where did this drop to? Is there a level here? It's down here. That's a bit aggressive. Oh, dude, this is so nasty. Baba doesn't give a fuck. What did Baba do? Yeah, Baba doesn't care. <laughs> Let's see what this thing does. That's big. So that's why it pumped for three days? Maybe, man. Oh, they are killing this thing. This thing is getting knifed 76% on that spy dump you monster you monster let's see what this wants to do here pal's not speaking I don't see him speaking I have the stream up and there's nothing on unless it's just audio yeah, there's nothing. Oh, are they about to break this to low slippage? Powell ultimate rate peak likely to be higher than expected. That's dirty. That is dirty, bro. Oh my God, this move is aggressive. Let's see what they do with this. You're about to get a new five minute candle in like 30 seconds. All right, let's. I don't see anything like it's not coming through anymore. Oh my god, this is dirty. Too late to do a put now on spy. Yeah, bro. What the what? Yeah.
Let's see if they eat it up a bit. Let's see. You're watching 402. This is just like, I don't see anything on Powell, though. It's not live. This is disgusting. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's see. So they're setting up. Oh, here we go. The jobs and their paychecks. The prices are still too high across many parts of the economy. We know that who oh. feels it the most when the cost of rent and groceries go up. It's not the economic pundits and politicians who lecture us about discipline and stability. It's not the corporate executives who pretend they're making tough choices about prices while reporting record profit increases quarter after quarter and doing more and more stock buybacks. It's the people working hourly jobs to make ends meet. It's seniors on fixed income and social security. It's everyone who gets their income from a paycheck each month, not an investment portfolio. It's those same Americans who stand to lose the most if the Fed's actions to curb inflation go too far. No matter what goes wrong in our economy, a global pandemic, a war in Eastern Europe, weather disasters, Profits somehow always manage to go up. Workers are left paying the price. As you've noted, Chair Powell, the Fed's tools are only one element in our fight against inflation. It's a complex problem. Interest rates are a single, we know, blunt tool. Raising interest rates can't rebuild our supply chains and fix demand imbalances from the pandemic. Raising interest rates won't end Russia's brutal invasion of Ukraine. Raising interest rates won't prevent avian flu from devastating one third of our egg supply or weather disasters from destroying key crops. And raising interest rates certainly won't stop big corporations from exploiting all of these crises to jack up prices far beyond the increase in their costs. Last year, corporate profits hit a record high. Corporate PR chiefs assure us that these companies just have to raise prices. Their costs are going up. The workers just want to be paid too much. They have no other choice, they tell us. Yet when you look at their profits and their executive salaries and their stock buyback plans, it sure doesn't look like corporations have exhausted every available alternative. It's so brazen. Even global bankers called in the Fed to identify this profiteering is one of the biggest drivers of inflation. Paul Donovan, chief economist of global wealth management at UBS wrote, the Fed should make clear that raising profit margins are spurring inflation. Companies have passed higher costs onto consumers, but they've also taken advantage of circumstances to expand profit margins. The broadening of inflation beyond commodity prices is more profit margin expansion than wage cost pressures. Think about that. From a chief economist at UBS, I'll say it again, they've taken advantage, these companies have taken advantage of circumstances to, pro to expand profit margins. The broadening of inflation beyond commodity prices is more profit margin expansion than wage cost pressures, unquote. The Fed, understandably, the Fed can't force corporations to change their ways or rewrite the Wall Street business model on its own, but the Fed can talk about it. High interest rates, falling wages, increasing unemployment are all hallmarks of failed policies that end up helping Wall Street, the largest corporations in the country, the wealthiest people in the country. Because let's be clear what we're talking about when people use the economic speak that can cloud this conversation. Cooling the economy means laying off workers. Lowering demand means workers get fewer raises. Of course, there are times when the Fed must act. We can't allow inflation to become entrenched. We've seen encouraging trends that is that that isn't happening. And there are other ways we can bring prices down instead of lowering demand. Again, making people poor, laying people off, denying worker raises. We can speed up and strengthen our supply chains. We can bring critical manufacturing back to the US 
we can rebuild our infrastructure. It's what we're doing with the CHIPS Act, with the Inflation Reduction Act, with the bipartisan infrastructure bill. For the first time in decades, we're finally recognizing the damage that I and many of my colleagues warned corporate or the, the corporate offshoring would do to our economy. Look at East Palestine, Ohio, a community that Senator Vance and I have visited a number of times recently. America learned about this small town last month when a Norfolk Southern train derailed and spewed hazardous material into this community. East Palestine is more than just a disaster headline. Columbiana County was once the center of American ceramics manufacturing, at one time producing 80% of ceramics of dishware in this country. One county produced 80% of it. When I was there last week, I was talking to the sheriff at the 1820 Candle Company. He was talking about how the last one closed just a few years back. Like so many industries, these jobs moved overseas, and we know why. The same reason Norfolk Southern cuts cost at the expense of safety, eliminating one third, one third of its workforce in the last 10 years. Then you're surprised with these derailments. It's the same reason corporations now keep prices high, even as supply chains stabilize. It's the Wall Street business model. Chair Powell knows that. I know that. My Republican colleagues and Democratic colleagues know that. It's a Wall Street business model. Quarter after quarter, corporations are expected to cut costs at any cost. They skimp on safety. They move production overseas to countries where they can pay workers less because of trade deals that they lobbied for. In Wall Street demands, they post profit increases, even in the middle of a global pandemic. That's the problem with our economy. And not only will higher interest rates not solve it, if they're overdone, they'll make it worse. We can't risk undermining one of the successes of our current economy. For the first time in decades, workers are finally, finally starting to get a little power in this economy. Unemployment's in a historic low, 3.4%. That's not just a number. That means Americans have more opportunities, more options, even in places that have seen a lot in recent years. It means people have the power to demand raises and retirement security and paid sick days and some control over their schedules. It means more Americans have the dignity, have the dignity that comes with a good job that provides for your family. We must here ensure that all Americans have the opportunity for that dignity of work. It's a critical time. The consequences of missteps could be severe. Um, Mr. Chairman, two more things that affect, affect your job. It's not just monetary policy that threatens American pocketbooks. Some of my colleagues have threatened the nation's full faith and credit by holding the debt ceiling hostage for partisan politics. Instead of paying our bills on time, they're threatening, essentially threatening all Americans. The Fifth Circuit's Consumer Financial Protection Bureau ruling could also cause unimaginable instability and chaos for families, for consumers, but also, as the chair knows, for a financial system. The Fifth Circuit is Wall Street's, no doubt about it, the Fifth Circuit is Wall Street's favorite courthouse. It recently ruled the CFPB's independent funding. If funding is unconstitutional. If the Supreme Court upholds the Fifth Circuit's ruling, it will not only devastate CFPB, it will threaten the independent funding of many other federal agencies, including the Federal Reserve. I look forward today to hearing today's hearing how the Fed will balance its dual mandate and continue to promote an economy where everyone who wants a good job can find one, an economy that works for everyone. Uh, Senator Scott, Senator Scott, sorry. Sorry. Good morning, Chair Bell. <clears throat> Sitting here, looking at my prepared, my prepared remarks, thinking about, A, there's an opening coming where Vice Chairman Brainer's moving on. I think it's really important for us to make sure that all the information that we need in order to make a good decision on the next nom that we have in a timely fashion. So I would really implore uh, the chair to make sure that's, uh, that happens, that every question, every questionnaire that is uh, asked from the person, we get. Uh, every member of this committee has their questions answered in a timely fashion, and that the staff has their answers in a timely fashion. Listening to Chairman Brown, I thought to myself, fascinating, truly fascinating. I concluded that, <clears throat> well, I know Chairman Brown pretty well. I am sure he is sincere in his rant. But let me just say this. Spending and printing trillions of dollars, caving to the radical left in this country, seeing policies, 
posited and then implemented that led to the worst inflation in 40 years. Seeing our inflation at 9.1%, seeing American families struggle because of the weight of the government on their shoulders, seeing the devastation from South Carolina to Ohio, it's unbelievable that the progressives in this country who caused a 9.1% inflation would then turn somewhere besides in the mirror to see the absolute devastation caused by their out of control spending is remarkable. Remarkable. To stop the out of control inflation caused by the out of control spending, the Fed steps in to cool the economy. Well, the definition of cooling the economy is necessary because we've seen the most radical approach to a problem that was in our rearview mirror being used as a Trojan horse to bring in a level of socialism and spending that our nation has not seen in my lifetime. The facts are very simple. When you get to 9.1% inflation in this nation, as a kid who grew up in a single parent household, mired in poverty, a 40% today, 100% just a year ago, increase in the gas prices, devastates single mothers around this country. For seniors on fixed income, whose savings are being depleted with an average cost just last month, of a $433 increase because of inflation. For my friends on the other side of the aisle to look any place besides a mirror, I find stunning. The truth is that when your food prices go up uh, over 20%, when your electricity is up over 20%, you have to ask yourself, where in the world are they? They cannot be in this universe. It must be an alternate universe where, in fact, it's okay for us to see prices go through the roof and our economy not stumble but fall into a ditch. Why are we in the ditch? Because progressives used the pandemic as a way to usher in a form of spending that takes the money out of the pockets of everyday Americans and puts it in the coffers of the government. There is a better way. The better way is to trust the American people. And when you do so, we don't have to have the Fed come in and raise interest rates so high to quell the challenges in our economy so that today versus 18 months ago, the price of the same house for your mortgage payment is twice as high. Why? Because of the runaway spending of our oh, friends on the other side of the aisle. I'm sure I do not have time for my opening comments, but I will say without any question. As I look around the country and I ask myself, how devastating is it that today it costs 433 more dollars than it did a year ago? The answer is it is a crisis. When the average family in our country just a couple of years ago didn't have $400 in their savings for an emergency to have prices go up by this amount, it's devastating to have a conversation about rents around the country, looking at the inflationary effect and the absolute devastation of a snarling supply chain that we haven't seen in my lifetime, run by my friends in the progressives. Unbelievable. But to get to you, Chairman Powell, one of the comments that you've made that I think is really important in one of the speeches that you gave in January, and I apologize for my rant. I just wanted to make sure my rant was consistent with my friend here. Um, it is essential, you said, that we stick to our statutory goals and authorities and that we resist the temptation 
to broaden our scope to address other important social issues of the day. Taking on new goals, however worthy, without a clear statutory mandate would undermine the case of our independence. You further noted that, and I quote, without explicit congressional legislation, it would be inappropriate for us to use our monetary policy or supervisory tools to promote a greener economy or to achieve other climate-based goals. We are not and will not be a climate policy maker. Do you still stand by those comments? I do. Thank you. Finally, I know we're not in the question. I know. I get it. Finally. You now have four minutes and 12 seconds. <laughs> yes. I, I knew the chairman would dock that for my time. And I appreciate you uh, doing so with a sense of humor. With a great humor. Great humor. Finally, several of my Republican colleagues and I sent a letter to you discussing Vice Chair of, Supervisor, Vice Chair of Supervision Michael Barr's plan to conduct a holistic review of capital standards. I look forward to discussing those capital standards uh, during my Q&A, and I will thank you for our recent conversation that we had that uh, helped illuminate some of the necessary challenges that we face as a nation and your answers to it. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Speaking of illuminating, thank you, Senator Scott. Yes, sir. I thank you for allowing me to use this. Today we'll, yeah, today we'll hear from Chair of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, on monetary policy in the state of our economy. And I don't expect Chair Powell to weigh in on uh, the mini debate we just had, but I think we all know that the debt increase was much larger under President Trump and a Republican Senate than it has been since. Um, Chair Powell, thank you for your service and your testimony today. Chairman Brown. Uh, Ranking Member Scott and other members of the committee, I appreciate the opportunity to present the Federal Reserve's semi-annual monetary policy report. My colleagues and I are acutely aware that high inflation is causing significant hardship, and we're strongly committed to returning inflation to our 2% goal. Over the past year, we've taken forceful actions to tighten the stance of monetary policy. We have covered a lot of ground, and the full effects of our tightening so far are yet to be felt. Even so, we have more work to do. Our policy actions are guided by our dual mandate to promote maximum employment and stable prices. Without price stability, the economy does not work for anyone. In particular, without price stability, we will not achieve a sustained period of labor market conditions that benefit all. I'll review the current economic situation before turning to monetary policy. The data from January on employment, consumer spending, manufacturing production, and inflation <clears throat> have partly reversed the softening trends that we'd seen in the data just a month ago. Some of this reversal likely reflects the unseasonably warm weather in January in much of the country. Still, the breadth of the reversal, along with revisions to the previous quarter, suggests that inflationary pressures are running higher than expected at the time of our previous FOMC meeting. From a broader perspective, inflation has moderated somewhat since the middle of last year, but remains well above the FOMC's longer run objective of 2%. The 12 month change in total PCE inflation uh, has slowed from its peak of 7% in June to 5.4% in January as energy prices have declined and supply chain bottlenecks have eased. Over the past 12 months, core PCE inflation, which excludes the volatile food and energy prices, was 4.7%. As supply chain bottlenecks have eased and tighter policy has restrained demand, inflation in the core goods sector has fallen. And while housing services inflation remains too high, the flattening out in rents evident in recently signed leases points to a deceleration in this component of inflation over the year ahead. That said, there is little sign of disinflation thus far in the category of core services excluding housing, a category that accounts for more than half of core consumer expenditures. To restore price stability, we'll need to see lower inflation in this sector, and there will very likely be some softening in the labor market conditions. Although nominal wage gains have slowed somewhat in recent months, they remain above what is consistent with 2% inflation and current trends in productivity. Strong wage growth is good for workers, but only if it's not eroded by inflation. Turning to growth, the US economy has slowed significantly last year with real GDP rising at a below trend pace of 0.9%. 
Although consumer spending appears to be expanding at a solid pace this quarter, other recent indicators point to subdued growth of, suspending and, of spending and production. Activity in the housing sector continues to weaken, largely reflecting higher mortgage rates. Higher interest rates and slower output growth also appear to be weighing on business fixed investment. Despite the slowdown in growth, the labor market remains extremely tight. The unemployment rate was 3.4% in January, its lowest level since 1969. Job gains remained very strong in January, while the supply of labor has continued to lag. As of the end of December, there were 1.9 job openings for each unemployed individual, close to the all-time peak recorded last March, while unemployment insurance claim claims have remained near historical lows. Turning to monetary policy, with inflation well above our longer run goal of 2%, and with the labor market remaining extremely tight, the FOMC has continued to tighten the stance of monetary policy, raising interest rates by four and a half percentage points over the past year. We continue to anticipate that ongoing increases in the target range for the federal funds rate will be appropriate in order to attain a stance of monetary policy that is sufficiently restrictive to return inflation to 2% over time. Fair enough. In addition, we are continuing the process of significantly reducing the size of our balance sheet. We are seeing the effects of our policy actions on demand in the most interest sensitive sectors of the economy. It will take time, however, for the full effects of monetary restraint to be realized, especially on inflation. In light of the cumulative tightening of monetary policy and the lags with which monetary policy affects economic activity and inflation, the committee slowed the pace of interest rate increases over its past two meetings. We will continue to make our decisions meeting by meeting, taking into account the totality of the incoming data and their implications for the outlook for economic activity and inflation. Although inflation has been moderating in recent months, the process of getting inflation back down to 2% has a long way to go and is likely to be bumpy. As I mentioned, the latest economic data have come in stronger than expected, which suggests that the ultimate level of interest rates is likely to be, to be higher than previously anticipated. If the totality of the data were to indicate <clears throat> that faster tightening is warranted, we'd be prepared to increase the pace of rate hikes. Restoring price stability will likely require that we maintain a restrictive stance of monetary policy for some time. <clears throat> our overarching focus is using our tools to bring inflation back down to our 2% goal and to keep longer term inflation expectations well anchored. Restoring price stability is essential to set the stage for achieving maximum employment and stable prices over the longer run. The historical record cautions strongly against prematurely loosening policy. We will stay the course until the job is done. To conclude, we understand that our actions affect communities, families, and businesses across the country. Everything we do is in service to our public mission. At the Federal Reserve, we will do everything we can to achieve our maximum employment and price stability goals. Thank you. I look forward to your questions. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. There are 23 of us on this committee. Almost everyone will be here today. I ask each of us to stay as close to the five minute mark as we can because we have votes at 1130. So uh, thank you all for your cooperation. Chair Powell, thank you. Job growth is strong as unemployment remains historically low. You might not know that from the opening statements. Uh, many drivers of inflation, so you greed, rising inequality, supply chain disruptions, rushes, uh, bestiality, if you will, in Ukraine won't get better because of interest rate increases. Every indication is that this post pandemic economy is different. Should we be worried, Mr. Chair, that the Fed is treating this economic period as it has in the past instead of reacting differently? Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so we've been aware since the very beginning and have said, have discussed this uh, public on many occasions that, that there are some differences this time. Uh, we in particular, have not seen the kind of uh, supply side collapse that we saw at the very beginning of the inflation outbreak. Also, the outbreak of a war, which had significant effects on commodity prices a year ago. So all that is different. There are also, though, some similarities. <clears throat> there, there is a mismatch between supply and demand. You can see that uh, in, in, in the goods sector still. You saw it in, in housing prices going up uh, over 40% since the uh, 
since before the pandemic. And you see it in the labor market where we have 1.9 job openings for every opening uh, for every unemployed person. So we're well aware that, that this, this particular situation involves a mix of cycles of, sorry, of forces, not all of which our, our tools can affect, but there is a job here for us to do in, in better aligning demand with supply. The understanding you have limited tools to address inflation in our conversations um, in the past to show my concern about continued rate increases that, that may not actually address the root cause of inflation. They hurt workers. And I just, I, many of us contend we can't follow the same old playbook. Uh, next question. Last year, three banking regulators issued proposed updates on the Community Reinvestment Act to account for changes in our banking system. My question is, does the Fed remain committed to work with FDIC and OCC to finalize the CRA rule? And when will that rule likely be finalized? Yes, we do remain committed, and uh, I believe we are in uh, broad agreement with the other two agencies on, on, on the revisions to the rule. So now we're in the process of writing all that down, and that'll, that'll take some time. And then after that, of course, uh, the, it will come to the Board of, of Governors for a vote, and that will involve briefings and, and discussions. And I, I can't give you an exact date. But, but it as will quickly be, as possible. Yes, but it will, it will be some months. Thank you. Um, banks weathered the shock of the COVID-19 shutdowns, mostly because of the fiscal response provided by Congress. We now see a spike in loan delinquencies and increase in overall risk. Banks are again plowing billions, billions, as many other corporate leaders always defended by people on that side of the aisle, um, in, in, into stock buybacks, which makes me concerned that there's a downturn in the economy. Banks could end up with too little capital. That's why I'm worried about any potential rollbacks of safeguards or regulations. Can you assure me that the Fed will keep capital requirements strong and exercise more long-term forward thinking than corporate CEOs that seem to be focused on the short term? I can assure you as to the first part uh, uh, that, that we'll, we'll keep uh, capital requirements strong. I didn't expect you to comment on your, uh, give me an opinion about you're looking more forward than, than companies that look at the short-term benefits of stock buybacks. Uh, Mr. Chair, when you last testified, I asked you about the risk posed by crypto assets, stable coin, the Fed, and other regulated possibilities. How's the Fed evaluating the risks of crypto-related activities by your, by your supervised institutions? So this is something we've been, we've been quite active in this area. And, and I'll say that uh, we, we believe that innovation is very important over time to the economy. We don't want to stifle innovation. We don't want regulation to uh, stifle innovation in a way that just uh, favors incumbents and that kind of thing. But like everyone else, we're watching what's been happening in, in the crypto space. And, you know, what we see is, you know, quite a lot of turmoil. We see fraud. We see a lack of transparency. We see run risk, lots and lots of things like that. And so what we've been doing is is making sure that the, that the, um, regulated financial institutions that we supervise and regulate are careful, are taking great care in the ways that they engage with the, um, you know, with the whole crypto space and that they give us prior notice. And we've issued along with the FDIC and the OCC a number of, of um, uh, is, you know, issuances of, <clears throat> of notices to that effect. Thank you. And I will close with this. I've long pushed for the Fed to prioritize workers and for the leaders of the Fed to re reflect the diversity of our country. We've made progress, but our work is not done. We have a new opening. Understand it's not your job to appoint the new Fed, Fed member. Uh, we have a, and we have a number of upcoming vacancies at the Reserve Banks. I support Senator Reid from Rhode Island, Senator Menendez from New Jersey, and other colleagues who are pushing for more diverse, uh, diverse voices at the Fed. Senator Scott. Thank you, Chairman. Obviously, the chairman and I both have strong passions about the challenges that we face as a country. The one thing that I do believe that we agree on is the importance of having a strong uh, capital markets as it relates to uh, making sure that Americans have the ability to continue to grow their businesses and to solve their challenges. And frankly, I hope that we get there. Building on the same comment that the chairman had on capital standards is where I'm going to go with my thoughts today. But I think back on these last few years, it's hard not to recognize extraordinary efforts our financial institutions of all sizes, frankly, undertook to administer a program like the PPP, all while weathering a shutdown of our global economy. I welcome your thoughts, but from my viewpoint, our banking system was resilient. Our financial institutions stepped up and delivered aid to support families and businesses every single day. 
That's why Vice Chair Barr's broad comments around holistic review of our capital troubled me so much. We should be laser focused on our economy and addressing the needs of everyday Americans trying to forge a new future and helping them open the door to opportunity. As you and I both know, <clears throat> capital and its quality must be continually scrutinized, but increased capital does not necessarily provide an increased benefit and requiring banks to hold capital that is not risk-based and appropriately tailored to a bank's size, scope, and activities can cause more harm than good. At a time of record inflation, where everyday needs are more expensive, we should not be pursuing actions that are harmful. Rather, we should be supporting the engine of our economy, small businesses. While I remain greatly concerned by the vice chair's comments, I am hopeful that you will ensure this review is appropriate, keeping the impacts on our banking system front and center. We must promote and further the growth of our economy and thereby our people. Anything less should be unacceptable. To that end, will you commit that any ongoing capital review by the Federal Reserve will follow the law and that any follow-on <coughs> regulatory proposals will be risk-based and tailored to an institution's activity, size, and complexity and not a one-size-fits-all. Yes, uh, I can easily commit to that. You know, we're very strongly committed to tailoring, and uh, that'll be, I can say that anything we do will reflect uh, tailoring, which is a long-held principle for us, and also now a requirement in the law. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Two weeks ago, I sent a letter with Chairman McHenry to <clears throat> Chair Gensler regarding the SEC's climate disclosure rule urging him to rescind his proposal and reminding him that the SEC is a market regulator, not a climate forecaster. Much like Congress designed the SEC to protect investors, to maintain fair, orderly, and efficient markets, and to facilitate capital formation, and not to advance progressive climate change policies, Congress designed the Federal Reserve to promote price stability and maximum employment, not to play politics. To that end, I find worrying the Fed's announcement of recent actions to consider climate-related scenarios coupled with remarks by the Vice Chair of Supervision as attempts to incorporate broader ESG policies into the financial services system. <clears throat> Banks have and continue to account for weather-related risks in their risk management, but efforts that attempt to predict climate change far into the future fall outside the scope of, the, of their authority. Importantly, the level of speculation required in these models should highlight their arbitrary and capricious nature. At a time when our economy is suffering from historically high inflation, I expect our central bank to focus its time and resources on bringing inflation down, not on policy outside of its mandate. I noted in my opening statement a recent speech that you've given about the state of the Fed and how you should resist the temptation to broaden its scope and to address social issues. Do you agree that the Federal Reserve does not have the authority? Hold on, hold your horses, hold your horses team. I think you guys can hear me, hold on. Let me make sure, let me make sure. All right guys, so that is gonna be wrapping up the live stream for this morning. Remember guys, I mean, again, you've seen some pretty crazy fucking price action today so far. So let's see what happens a little bit later. It does look like it's trying to rally off the lows here. Let's see where it wants to go by the end of the day. But team, again, remember, everybody has access to... No Ooh, it's dark now. Everybody has access to 90% off their first month to the Trade 1348 platform, as you guys can see right here. And make sure, guys, if you want to make sure that you're getting into Speed Racer, the one-minute traffic light alerts before everybody else... Uh, you want to get the live master classes, everything like that. Make sure you guys reach out to Diana and then she will help you guys upgrade. So shoot her a message again, guys, everybody gets access to the 90% off their first one. So make sure you guys check that out there. Other than that, guys, I want to see all of you guys over there on Gabe's live stream. He's going to be talking a lot of shit about some shit stocks, but team, I will see you guys later. What an amazing morning so far. Make sure you guys hop into the platform or get led to the slaughter by those other people, but team. Very, very, very interesting morning so far. Let's see what we get a little later. But other than that, guys, hit that like button on the way out. Make sure that you send a message to Diana if you guys do want to upgrade. And all you guys, 90% off your first month. Other than that, peace.